Big fans are packing the fairgrounds for a second straight week. Louder Than Life kicked off today. Our Addie Miners is live there and tells us things are definitely loud. Hey, Addie. Hey guys, yeah, you're right. It is definitely loud out here and it's also jam packed. But officials are saying they're expecting over 160,000 people to attend the concerts over the weekend. Now gates opened up today at noon and if you saw our Chopper HD footage from earlier, people were literally running to get a front row spot. The festival includes rock and heavy metal acts like Slipknot, Alice Cooper, Youngblood, who was playing today, and of course the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But if music doesn't get you out here, the food and the whiskey will. Louder Than Life is the world's largest whiskey and music festival in in the world. There's plenty of both with tons of vendors from all around the city. And there's also a tons of great acts throughout the weekend, but a lot of people told me that they're excited to see actor Jack Black's band, Tenacious D, who plays tonight. Nacho! Chili Peppers, obviously. I'm, I'm a huge fan of them. Uh, I want to see Alice in Chains, um, Apocalyptica. There's so many, so many. So it's a good festival. There's a lot of ones you want to see. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you haven't been before, definitely come out. It's worth the money, worth the time. It's a great time. Definitely worth the money and worth the time. Now, tonight's headliner is Nine Inch Nails. They will play around 9 o'clock. Tomorrow night, Slipknot takes the stage. On Saturday night, Gene Simmons and Kiss will play. And then on Sunday, they'll close it out with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's going to be a great weekend out here. Lots of people in beautiful weather tonight. We appreciate it, Jay, from the studio. Now, from Louder Than Life, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY News. Thank you, Jay, all day. Thanks, Addie. A JCPS Elementary School is celebrating a milestone this year. Dunn Elementary opened 50 years ago. There's going to be a community celebration tomorrow. The school will show off artifacts from a time capsule, including class pictures and coverage from the 1974 tornado outbreak that leveled the school. There will also be a disco party, a fundraiser, a silent auction, and student exhibitions. So we have a lot of different events, fun for everybody. We always have fun at Dunn. So it's a great place and a good time to come out. We've invited the community. We would like everyone to stop and see us um, and just celebrate with us for 50 years of excellence. The celebration is an open house, so everyone's invited. It's tomorrow from 6 until 8 at the school on Rudy Lane. Late breaking news from the Judicial Center. A Louisville man will spend the rest of his life in prison for killing a three-year-old girl and her father. The jury just recommended a life sentence for Kevon Lawless. He could have received the death penalty for shooting Trinity Randolph and Brandon Waddles. We'll have reaction from the courtroom tonight on WLKY News at 11. Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Ah, uh, what a change from yesterday. What a day today. My goodness, just beautiful air moving in from the north and northwest. Uh, temperatures dropping off into the 70s today, even 60s in a few spots. Right now, we are 74 degrees. Yesterday at this time, we were 95 scorching degrees. The humidity, nice and low. A north wind in here between 15 and 20 miles per hour. That'll slowly come down as we move into the uh, deeper evening hour, so to speak. Now look at the range here. We have 68 Seymour, Shelbyville, low to middle 70s elsewhere. Just a wonderful early evening across the region and all across the Ohio Valley. Numbers 60s and lots of 70s. Uh, these temperatures anywhere from 20 to 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday as that cool autumn air mass has been building in from the north. Clouds of last night, earlier this morning, kind of clearing out. Thickest now off to the west. Boy, it's going to be a beautiful evening with mainly clear skies. In the city, right around 72, 7 o'clock tonight, we'll be dropping through those 60s as the evening hours unfold. And again, keep this in mind, this is the city. Outline regions will be in those 50s. Uh, a little bit later on. All right, as far as uh, the actual weather pattern, high pressure building in from Minnesota, and this guy actually originated way up here in Canada, and that's why the air is so comfortable and so much cooler than what was recently in the region yesterday, the day before that. When you wake up on your Friday morning, clear skies will greet you, temperatures a mix of upper 40s, likely in the middle and upper 40s for many of us in the outlying regions, around 51 in downtown Louisville. 
I wouldn't be a bit surprised. The favored low spots, you know who you are out there, you could drop to near 40, 41 degrees overnight tonight. It is going to be a cool autumn night in the region. We wake up to sunshine tomorrow morning, a bright start to the day. Clouds will begin increasing, however, especially through the afternoon. No rain on the way tomorrow nor tomorrow evening. It'll stay dry, just that increase in cloud cover. And high temperatures, another cool day below average, a mix of upper 60s and low 70s by mid to late afternoon, looking at 72 in the city. Of course, we've got the area high school football games tomorrow evening, highlighted by the St. X Trinity game at Cardinal Stadium. 8 o'clock kickoff for that game. As far as the weather goes, right around 70 at kickoff, dropping back into the middle 60s with a few clouds, but dry conditions for tomorrow evening. Fair skies, cool and quiet this evening. The 70s will drop back into the 60s, eventually the 50s. And we're going to wake up to 40s to near 50 degrees tomorrow morning. A lot of morning sunshine, then clouds increasing in the afternoon. Pleasantly cool at 72. Your two-day forecast, we're close to 80 Saturday. As far as a rain chance goes, there could be a sprinkle or two Saturday morning. Really nothing more than that. So the college football games going on Saturday look great right now. U of L in action midday at Cardinal Stadium. 69 for the kickoff, 76 for the final play. And a little later on in the evening, UK in action at Kroger Field in Lexington. Kickoff time slated for 7 o'clock, 75 degrees, slipping to 70 for the last play. And look at the remainder of that seven-day forecast. 80 Sunday. Next week, another bout of cool air moves in. Upper 60s and low 70s for highs. <laughs> Much of next week. So. Forget about those 90s for quite some time. They're out of the picture. The calendar wow. knows. Yes, it, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Jack. St. X and Trinity came together today for an annual fundraiser, but they'll go back to being rivals tomorrow. What the coaches are saying about the big game that's next in sports.
Live with Fred Calgill. This is WLKY Sports. Hello again, everybody. Tomorrow night at 8, defending Kentucky big school state champ St. X plays 27-time state champ and arch-rival Trinity in their annual showdown. Today was their pregame luncheon, and WLKY's Dominic Gates was there. Just one more sleep before the annual rivalry game between St. X and Trinity gets underway. Now, both coaches agree events like this salute to kick off lunch at the God House is one of many distractions that goes into this rivalry, kind of taken away from the game. But they still appreciate that the community and the fan bases are excited about the matchup. I got to remind myself to do what I've asked our kids to do, and that is keep important what's important. And uh, we can't get caught up in all the hoopla that kind of goes around things in school. And uh, this event for us is a neat event. But obviously for our football team, our coaching staff, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock is when it becomes real. Almost every week is a big game. And you've got something that has uh, a, a lot at stake. Now, this game is huge to our fans. It's huge to our players. Everybody knows one another in this rivalry, and that's kind of what makes it special. Uh, that's the thing that the kids get hyped about. You get to play against some guys that are buddies of theirs and guys that they've hung with before and many times played with before in the seventh and eighth grade. So it, it's kind of a rekindling of those uh, rivalries and those people those that had friendships. Kickoff is set for 8 p.m. at Cardinal Stadium, and we'll have a full recap of the game on High School Playbook. I'm Dominique Yates, WLKY Sports. Thanks.